The heavy downpour on Wednesday not only disrupted road users along Ginger Road, but also caused flooding on several other city roads. We have messed up the channels that are supposed to take water very safely into Lake Victoria. We have blocked them, the so-called developers. Secondly, we the citizens have been so irresponsible, blocking even those channels that exist. We throw their garbage, we throw their policy paper, so it chokes the, 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 the drainage. So most of the, the Kampala roads now, the original channels that were built with the roads are no longer functional. So that's why you see Lugogo yesterday. That's why you saw, for, for example, I was driving at the peak of the road. I was driving along the uh, golf course. Golf course literally became a lake because of the development that has taken place around there. So those are the challenges that we have. And I think that we will, we will be addressing. But the question is, do you have money for emergencies? The government will always respond. We are a government that knows that we must continue to serve our people. Minister of State for Works and Transport, Musa Echeru, conducted an inspection of the Nakawa Chireka stretch, which was severely impacted by the floods. He expressed his frustration with the contractor's delays and directed UNRWA to expedite the necessary repairs. So again, I had to remind my friends that I don't want to hear now about the money or anything. I just want to see the place fixed. I know for sure that if there is any discussion about monies and what, to, that is our internal thing, that's in-house. That is between us, Minister of Works, between UNRWA, between ENAGO, and between the Minister of Finance. That is our in-house thing. But the members of the traveling public want a, a smooth road. That's all they want. They don't want to hear stories, you know. So, so I am happy that yesterday, when they, when, when, when I, when I requested them to do this, they have fixed the place. Uh, they have assured me, in the next three months, the the road will be completely done. The road will be completely done here. A chronic flooding uh, phenomenon in this area. Whenever it rains, we have uh, installed a large diameter box culvert here. Uh, in the same situation with the uh, Chambogo, we have also installed uh, another box culvert uh, in it there. We expect that uh, all these works will be completed within the next uh, three to four months so that uh, we should have a smooth road from uh, Nakawa up to Chireka connecting to the other section which has already been uh, uh, executed. Uh, the issue which the minister raised here, yes, is of concern and uh, it is really our responsibility where we promised with the contractor that uh, we shall now keep it in this status. It will not deteriorate uh, to that level anymore. During his inspection, the minister also visited other flood-prone areas in the city, including Mulago Roundabout. He voiced his disappointment regarding the practice of leaving open excavations on roads during repair work. You cannot have a road that leads you out of Mulago Regional Referral Hospital and it is cut and the holes left gaping and the gaping holes are supposed to be there where we will do everything it takes to make sure that this cut kind of people who are calling themselves engineers in the capital, capital city will, will either be disciplined or we bring people who know their job. That's the message here. Minister Echeru advised the public to exercise extra caution during this wet season to minimize the risk of losing lives. Adia Nakute, UBC.